a, you know, a, a do rag and a, and a hat and some chains. Yeah, and that's it. Baggy clothes, or whatever. And you see these dudes, this shit that they went out and to each his own. To each his own. I ain't knocking nobody. I don't want nobody to be taking no shots at me because I ain't taking. Yes, I am. <laughs> but that's what the dress code is supposed to be implemented now. So, so Allen Ives, so the pot is calling the kettle black about proper attire in the NBA. I don't think he's talking about proper attire. I think he's talking about people like Westbrook and Dwayne Wade and LeBron James and Harden and all those dudes coming out looking like bitches. Yeah, I think I mean I think I think part of it was different now. It's it seems like back in the day I I knew they all used to dress like Nelly with the mm. big uh with all the chains and the big baggy clothes. But it didn't seem like it was a competition to outdo each other. Now it's just like Like they they having a competition to out bitch each other. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like how how outlandish can I be? Before it was like, okay, I might have a bigger chain, I might have a bigger watch. But it's like for like me, how, 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 how Gucci can I Gucci you? You know what I mean? The motherfuckers in the NBA, the so-called superstars, and the way they dress and the things that they into is validation to that point that masculinity is under attack. I mean, luckily not, you know, everybody's doing it. I mean, you have like, uh, you know, I don't see Stephen Curry doing stuff like that. And he probably never will. Cause he was raised with his father. His father is a man's man. <laughs> his father's in the crowd. Yeah. I guess he wouldn't let him go out. Like he was, his father see him coming into the stadium with some bullshit like that. On Steph Curry might not play that night. He might I mean, be somewhere fucked up. And it's funny now because I think you see. Um, it seems like the whole the walk in is a big deal now. The, like the walk-in was always a was big it? deal. They always, they always had cameras in the tunnel for big-time playoff games, big-time games. You want to see the players walking into the locker room. And so that's why this attack on masculinity through the, through the attire of our, of our famous athletes, it, that's why it becomes so appalling because you see, what the fuck is Cam Newton doing? <laughs> I think it's like, I mean, I think it looks silly anyway, but I mean, once you're over like six foot, it really started looking When you're six <laughs> five and you're wearing a whole bunch of skinny shit and, looking like and weird shit, you just, you just tell the whole world that you are a feminine man. And I don't care how hard football you play on the field, if you dress feminine, you are feminine. And people going to look at you like you soft or you a bitch. And I and that's just not the image that I want portrayed to my little man. Uh, what's it? Russell Westbrook come dressed like the Wicked Witch of the West. The Bro, one time this motherfucker the, came the, in with some the, fucking Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice tights on his fucking hands, <laughs> like like he do shit that females do, and that's why I don't like him as a player. He do shit females do. He want to dance and then you know how how. I, 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 I'm almost called them bitches, but <laughs> but you know how bitches do. <laughs> you know how chicks do. How women. No, it's the difference between women and chicks. You know how chicks fucking do when uh, they get around their homegirls. It's always a reason to twerk and pop <laughs> their lips and act all fucking ghetto fabulous Lionel bitchy. You know what I'm saying? That's what that dude does. From the dancing before the tip off to the... He do a dunk, now he want to grit on you and act like he fucking OG gangster killer. He run around <laughs> the court like he a motherfucking thug. And then as soon as he get fouled or something, then he start bitching. Like, I really, I, I really have a disdain for Russell Westbrook and the way he played basketball. And his just whole demeanor. Like, it's been real hardcore motherfucking gangster niggas that play basketball who don't do half the dumb shit on the court that Westbrook do. Michael Jordan didn't do none of that, but he came to the court looking like a businessman. 
You, like you never seen Michael Jordan no extra outlandish shit. Do you think it's because they got too much money? They got they hire stylists. Michael Jordan has more money than all of them. Michael Jordan walks into the court to the stadium. He looks like he's there for business. I remember one time Michael Jordan had a briefcase. I said, Mike, why do you have a briefcase? He said, because I'm here for business. <laughs> well, LeBron had his little... He had these uh, little gay-ass Mary Poppins <laughs> shorts on with the dumb-ass green socks and the shoes with a long sleeve blazer <laughs> and a dumb-ass fucking hat! <laughs> He was, he was real serious about it, though. No! He was real serious. He like, lost. He lost that game. <laughs> because he was more worried about fashion than kicking ass. I'll give you one thing about Allen Iverson. And I wasn't the biggest fan of Allen Iverson. But either Allen Iverson was going, was going to show up to the court looking like he was there to, to sign a rap contract <laughs> or he was there to rob the rappers that showed up to the game. You didn't never look at Alvin Iverson and say, this motherfucker's a bitch. And you want to know why? Because when he walked in the stadium, no homo, he walked in the stadium hard. He walked in the stadium like a nigga. You see his posture. Yeah, that, ain't, that nigga from the hood, bro. That nigga about his shit, bro. You run down on him, you better be about your shit. He come in there, when he, and when he get, it ain't even about the crew. Because Alan Iverson would get off the fucking joint with all his jewelry on, white tee, baggy jeans, and a pair of headphones. And you could tell, like, yeah, he, he a hood nigga. He, that, he come in there hard.